Hi, I'm James Masters and I'm here today with my model Alicia. Today I'm going to be colouring her hair using the new Manic Panic Professional line. I'm going to be using Solar Yellow and Pussycat Pink to create a mixture of orange through the ends and I'm going to be using Solar Yellow through the roots. The reason I'm using these colours is they last 40 washes, they contain lactic acid and castor seed oil and I know that Alicia's hair is going to be conditioned from root to tip. Let's get started. So what I've done to prep Alicia's hair, she was a natural base 6 throughout the top here with some old colour through the ends. I've lightened this up to a level 10 and I've also lifted these ends as well. We've still got the residue of this old colour through here, but we can work with that because we're going to be using the orange colour through the ends here. You need to get these colours nice and light to get the vibrancy. I haven't toned this and I've left this how it is. The warm colour will help maintain the yellow in the hair slightly longer. The orange through here, we don't have to tone out this gold colour either because we're going to be working with warmer kind of colours, so this is perfectly fine. If I was using any of the colder colours in the range, I would want to pre-tone this and I would want to lift these ends slightly lighter as well. So let's go ahead and mix up some colours. So I'm going to open my tube of solar yellow. Using the measurements on the side of the tube, I'm going to squeeze out half a tube into the bowl. This is for my base colour. So I'm then going to put the remainder of the tube into the orange bowl. This is for my end formula. I'm then going to add just a tiny, tiny drop of the Pussycat Pink into the solar yellow, just to create a nice orange colour. I'm then going to mix my two colours together, making sure to blend them really well. I'm then going to mix my yellow. I'm then going to use my bond builder of choice and I'm going to add a little amount into each bowl. And then mixing in until perfectly blended. So on damp hair, I'm going to be applying the solar yellow throughout all of the root area on Alicia's hair. The great thing about this colour is because it's got a gelatinous consistency, it applies really nicely to damp hair. Plus also, going on damp activates all of the properties in the colour, so you know that you're going to get it nice and soft and shiny afterwards. I'm applying the colour to the front here, pulling the hair away from the face so I can make sure that none of the colour is going to sit around her face and stain her skin. So once I've applied Alicia's root shade of solar yellow, I'm going to go through and comb this colour through to the ends. I'm then going to go through with my end formula, which was solar yellow and pussycat pink, and blend it through to these ends. One of the reasons we like to apply it onto damp hair is you save product. The gel blends onto the hair really nice and smoothly, which means that you don't need nowhere near as much product as what you would with a normal cream-based colour. So starting from the back, in large sections, I'm going to be working this colour just through these ends. I'm then going to comb the two colours together and I'm going to use my fingers to blend them in. So my end formula, what I'm doing is when I get to the top section here, I'm just lightly feathering it up and I'm leaving a little void here where there is no colour. Once I have worked this colour in, I'm then going to wipe my hands and I'm going to get my root shade to blend in that area and blend that down into my end colour. So you get a nice seamless blend. With a clean comb, is I'm going to comb all of the back section from the roots down to diffuse any lines throughout to make sure that our end formula is all falling at around the same level. Make sure any colour that's on your comb you apply back to the hair to make sure that it's fully saturated so you get full vibrancy. Once again on these sides I'm going to be taking large sections. I'm going to be using my eyes to see where this falls at the back and then I'm going to be applying the same end colour so it sits around about the same level.
like before, what I'm doing is I'm just bringing that root color down into our end formula, just so we can get a nice blend. Now that I've applied Alicia's color, I'm gonna let her develop at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna rinse her off in cold water. Cold water will make sure that the color is gonna stay in the hair and to maintain this color at home, you're best to wash it in cold water as well. I'm just putting some conditioner through the ends of Alicia's hair. You don't need to shampoo out these colors, just rinse in cold water and then condition. So as you can see, we've finished Alicia's hair. What we've done is we've applied the solar yellow around the top here and we've blended it down into the mixture of solar yellow and pussycat pink to get this orange. We've blended the two colors together so we get a nice seamless blend. Alicia's hair looks nice and conditioned, it's shiny and it looks healthy. To maintain this color at home, make sure that you're using cold water whenever you shampoo the hair and use a sulfate-free shampoo. You can always use the Manic Panic Powder Dry Shampoo in between your washers. You can sprinkle this on at the roots, that will remove any grease, and then you can then get an extra day out of your color. Don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel.